Hey guys, Pat Ryarkey here, also known as the Patriarchy, kicking social justice ass well into 2017 and beyond. Okay, so you guys know I hate Lena Dunham. I've made several videos where I talk shit about Lena Dunham and, and why I think she just sucks. And it's 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 beyond the point now of even going into all those specific things. Let's talk about what made Lena Dunham famous. She made um, a, a film that became a huge hit. Uh, I believe it was called Tiny Furniture. Uh, that will not become a huge hit. Became a, like a film festival darling called Didn't Make Any Money. But it got released on Criterion. You know all the bullshit. All the pretentious people liked it. Okay. So, uh, I watched the first two seasons of Girls, probably the first two and a half seasons of Girls, which I've said in a few videos, I know. Here's the thing, I love HBO. I've had an HBO subscription for years. I, I love HBO, I've watched most of the shows. I was a fan of shows on HBO before Girls came on. I was watching Boardwalk Empire, and I, I had watched The Sopranos and Six Feet Under and Deadwood, and I was watching Game of Thrones. So Girls came on around this time, there was a lot of good shows on HBO. And I thought, okay... I don't know who Lena Dunham is. Um, Judd Apatow's producing it. This could be good. Sounds good. Sounds fun. And uh, I even will say that I like episodes of the first season and episodes in the second season. Mainly episodes that have to deal with Adam Driver's character, um, the male characters in the show. I actually don't like any of the female characters, which Lena Dunham has come out recently. All the cast members have said none of the characters were supposed to be likable. Like, oh, okay. Anyway, let's look. Let's talk about this thing. The ratings for this show was shit. It was so shitty. Here's an old article. The ratings for girls are starting to get pretty ugly. This article's from two years ago. Okay, this show is still. This show just ended. It just ended its last season. I thought it was already fucking over. It, it already aired its sixth season here. Okay, when this show started, there was a show on with Tom. Um, God, what's his damn name? Um. Fuck. I hate I can't think of his name right now. Um, My bad. But there was a show called Hung. And uh, it was really, really funny in my opinion. I get some people didn't like it, but I really liked the show. Okay, so the show was bringing in about a million viewers per episode, I think. It was bringing in around a million or so, a little under, a little over. But usually around there, and sometimes over, it would have pretty decent ratings. In fact, I think the ratings had kind of stabilized at a certain place. And a lot of the other HBO shows typically stay around there. million... 2 million at a high end, you know, especially the comedy shows. Now, like, Veep's like a hit. But they canceled Hung after three seasons. And if you go back in the day when they had a different uh, head of HBO, they canceled shows like Carnival or Deadwood because they cost too much, even though people love them. Uh, but here's the thing with Girls. Girls was never popular. While the past Sunday night had the entire country abuzz over Kanye's Grammy antics and The Walking Dead's... God, you can tell all this article is. Mid-season premiere, things were far from quiet for HBO were girls togetherness and looking put up positively dismal numbers how bad was it the worst rated broadcast of girls in its entire run Sunday night's episode cubbies in which Hannah once more makes some pretty big life decisions only brought in 406,000 viewers according to headline planet which makes it the least watched episode ever as far as the key demographic goes it pulled in a shocking 0 0.2 I actually thought the entirety of the show's fan base fits squarely into the 1849 demographic, but I guess that's way off. Most people, presumably, ended up catching the girls' repeats that weren't airing opposite Walking Dead and the Grammys, but it's never a good sign when a show's already shrinking central fan base puts it on the back burner for more water-cooler-worthy programming. There's a strange disconnect between the online love for girls and the show's rating. Here's this online love for girls, too. I'm fascinated by this. This was all just made up. Girls was only popular for one fucking season. The first season came out, you can go look, it has 87 on Metacritic. It came out, it was. It, it had decent ratings, and it was kind of like in pulp culture. People were talking about it. Then, it didn't catch on. People didn't like Lena Dunham. They didn't like the characters. They didn't like the show. Adam Driver caught on as he went on to go have a big movie career. Now, now he's in Scorsese films and Star Wars and all that stuff. But Lena Dunham didn't catch on. Um, I mean, look at this. The, the show has its occasional spike. Girls up bringing around 650,000 to 800,000 viewers a week. This is a few years ago. Those aren't good numbers, even for HBO. For a show that's supposed to be this amazing show that was on. And they canceled other shows on HBO that had better ratings. Okay, like Hung. Hung had better ratings than this consistently, and they canceled it. Okay, now this is, this is an old article. This is Girls' final season premiere. Okay, girls' final season premiere. Ratings up yet bad. 
Oh, God, that photo of Lena Dunham. Jesus, fuck. Ratings-wise, the return of AMC's The Walking Dead and HBO's Girls had the exact opposite uh, opposite outcomes on Sunday night. Okay, so they talk about how Walking Dead's doing well and everything. The final re season return of Girls had the exact opposite scenario. The sixth season debut was actually up from last year, but basically still extremely poor overall. This is the debut of the last season of the show. The debut was only seen by 519,000 viewers, which climbed to Nielsen's statistical blink from last year's premiere at 489,000. So the show was barely bringing in 500,000 viewers, and this is the premiere of the... If you go back to season one's finale of Girls, it did like uh, one... It did one million, I think, was the finale of the first season. Now, Boardwalk Empire cost way more than this, so we doing over two million. It's not comparable, because Girls is a lot cheaper. But all the comedy shows, all the people that they could give shows to... All of the stuff that they, all the creative, smart people they could give shows to. And they keep playing a Dunham show on, which is not bringing in good ratings. I checked the DVD sales. I looked for all these things. I kept trying to find out why Girls was so damn popular. I, I kept trying to fucking look at it. I was like, why do people talk as if this show's like a cultural phenomenon? And uh, it's really funny, this last part here. Um... Somebody, yeah, right here. Girls is basically the quintessential media bubble. Hugely loud and popular cultural shadow compared to its actual viewership. Where? Even the comments go back in here, and I agree with some of these people. No one watches the show, but outlets like EU can continue to insist that Lena Dunham is the voice of the millennial generation or some bullshit and shove her down our throats when no one actually likes her or a garbage show. Completely true. Aziz Ansari does a show, Master of None, right now on Netflix that's about millennials. Much better show than girls. He's a likable character on that show. He's a, he's a good guy on that show, and he surrounds himself with good people. And they actually make really good points. Even stuff that I would kind of almost disagree with, some SJW-type points about race and stuff like that. They're good points, because they make them from a humanist point of view. It's like, hey, this is, this is stuff I see in my reality. He's not preaching to you. Lena Dunham has no voice. She is just a, a parrot of other people that came before her in literature, film, like a Woody Allen or something. She's just a, a copy artist. And then people build her up and talk about her just because she's unattractive and has a show on HBO that was just handed to her. And people act like she's brilliant. It's like there's never been a more basic show than Girls when it comes to this kind of cliche New York yuppies, you know, uh, fucking hanging out at bars and clubs, trying to write quirky, witty dialogue, shitty, I mean, it's, it's every fucking shitty play you've ever seen from some wannabe artist in your fucking local community theater. Girls is basically the quintessential media, hugely on pop, yeah, I love this, except no one even in the media bubble watches Girls. That's my thing, who the fuck watches Girls? This show wasn't even big with SJWs. Like, here's Deadline doing a whole article uh, about the whole finale and talking to Lena Dunham and all that, about the finale and all these big characters. I mean, that girl's in Get Out, the hot one, the hottest chick out of the main group. She's in Get Out. She's probably going to have the biggest career out of these four. Uh, all very unlikable in the show, though. Incredibly unlikable. Uh, it's it, That's what I don't get about this. Nobody watched this fucking show. And HBO kept it on. So I have to assume there was two reasons. They either kept it on because of budget... Which Forbes wrote this whole fucking article about it, like why the ratings of girls didn't matter. Um, and I know HBO subscriptions, HBO isn't about actual ratings. However, they've canceled shows that had shit ratings. This wasn't the entourage of women. This wasn't a new Sex in the City. People didn't watch girls. It's not quoted. It's not referenced. It's not brought up. People don't parody it. People don't... You could bring up scenes or characters from the show to most people, and they wouldn't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's not referenced in major uh, media. What are you talking about? It's not on the news. It's not on TV. No one talks about the show. It's only talked about in the context of Lena Dunham. Honestly, people like me probably talk about Lena Dunham and people who hate her more than anyone else because she's really not that famous or relevant. She doesn't have a hit show. She doesn't have a hit movie. She's never really been involved in it. The biggest thing she's probably been in was Bad Blood, the fucking Taylor Swift video. I mean, she just kind of exists, and I, I have to assume it's either because the show's so cheap that they somehow make profit on it, or this is HBO liberal bullshit pandering crap in this uh, California, and I think that's what it is, sadly. I think, you know, a show like this stays on with shitty ratings, with bad writing, with bad content. It's not that great just because they want to keep pushing this, like, look, Lena Dunham's unattractive and gets naked. See how brave and bold we are in HBO that we'll keep the show? Look how miserable she is. It's just a show about a miserable person writing about a miserable life is, and she wants you to love her for it.
She'll claim she doesn't, but that's all girls is about. It's just it's just a narcissism uh, fully uh, realized. Uh, six seasons to basically say nothing about how you're a spoiled 24-year-old who never grows up. That's what the whole show's about. I had to quit watching the show because it started to get so creepy. She basically was like borderline a rapist, her character on the show. It was so creepy how weird the show got. It was clearly somebody that was trying to deal with their own fucked up issues in their real life, and they didn't know how to articulate it or express it or anything like that. But girls somehow stayed on for six years, and they're writing about it like anyone watched the fucking finale. Nobody watched it. Nobody cared. Except for that small little group of people that subscribe to HBO that probably watch the show because it's been on. And, and like I was, I watched every show that was on HBO. One of HBO's absolute worst shows is Girls. At the very bottom of the list. One of the worst. Up there like John from Cincinnati or that terrible show from a few years ago. Awful show. Should have been canceled probably after like season four if the ratings kept going down. But they just kept it alive. I love this. Tonight's series finale of Lena Dunham's groundbreaking. Truly HBO. Groundbreaking? groundbreaking yeah because she got naked all the time as untrue. and she didn't change your opinion on sexuality she spent six years saying she was going to change how you saw sexuality and your idea of, of what you found attractive didn't work lena six years and nobody still nobody finds you attractive it didn't work so uh failure she failed to make a point she failed to make a cultural impact and media outlets like Deadline or Forbes or, or Entertainment Weekly, they're all pretending that the show had some impact or that it was important, but it really wasn't. Nobody gave a fuck. Nobody did. Like I said, it had one season. It was probably, I remember people talking about it. It was all over the media and stuff. The media really hyped this show up. And then you watch and you're like, well, this isn't as good as everyone's saying it is. It was okay. Then it just gets worse. People clearly quit watching it because it's worse. The critical acclaim goes down season to season. Till, you know, it's just a show that gets average reviews. And then now everyone's like, oh my god, the show is so brave and groundbreaking and it ended its great legacy. Nah. Nah, it didn't. So HBO will keep a show on with shit ratings if it's something like this, but they'll cancel other shows that had better ratings, which were comedy shows, because, you know, fuck it. Mike White had a show on here with Laura Dern that was great, that had about the same ratings, and they didn't keep it on. But they'll keep Lena Dunham shit on for six fucking years. I mean, it's probably because it has some, you know, actors who kind of blew up the last few years in it. But at the same time, even that doesn't help. Having these actors doesn't help her show. For some reason, this this gem, this this uh, this voice of our generation, the show that really took off, uh, never really did. But th but people will still try to tell you. You'll read out. There's so many articles right now about how the show was great and the finale was beautiful and. And how great the show. I've read New York Times pieces on this fucking show. There's analysis on it. It is shallow dog shit. It is shallow dog shit. Lena Dunham is, is a, a physical walking turd. And uh, her show never caught it. So let's rejoice in that. But if anyone ever tries to say like, Oh come on dude, Girls was a hit though. Everyone, No they didn't. Girls wasn't a hit. It wasn't. It was, it was basically something that just existed. Watch Veep. Watch the, uh, all the other better HBO shows, that Game of Thrones, and uh, what was the one that came out a few fucking... The, the one with J John Totoro as the like lawyer, with the guy, like, yeah, that was great. Every, every other thing HBO puts on is pretty fucking great, yet they kept this shit show on. Thank God it's over. Thank God it's gonna go away. Please don't give her another show. Please get Judd Apatow's fucking ass cancer away from your network. And uh, don't produce another fucking shit comedy like this, please. Your HBO, we have a standard for you. We actually expect certain levels of quality, be it acting or production value or writing something. The show offered none of those. And I'm glad it's over. And I'm glad that nobody fucking launched it. So, Patriarchy, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, go fuck yourselves.